a tutorial with Spongy Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create an interesting grid design using strokes. Now, just going to go over here to the line tool, line segment tool, and just going to drag that. Now, I'm going to have to set this up, so I'm going to go for a thousand, thousand point, just so you can actually see the size, and also set the width along there to 1000 as well. Now, what you can do, just quickly go to stroke, and there's an option here for dashed lines. So I'm just going to set dashed lines. So I'm going to go for that dashed line, but I want to fight, of course, numerous ways. So you can actually just want to say about four, so you can get different type of grids. So say 18, and so on and so on. Now, it doesn't look like a grid at this point. But what you can do, just duplicate it. So hold the alt down and duplicate it. And then rotate, rotate around, and then select both, align it. So you've got now a grid, very, very basic grid. Now, if you actually resize it like that, no use whatsoever. You need to do that when you expand it. But, so if you've got that, you can, of course, at this point, still live. So you can actually modify those. So you just go to stroke. And maybe go, like say, 12, you can go, say, 40, 5, and so on and so on. So I'm just going to go back to very basic grid. I mean, that's fine what I've got there, but you can literally modify it to create thousands of different grids just by changing the gaps, say, 5, and so on and so on. You can see what you can do with multiple. Now, not particularly very useful at this point. What you want to do then is just go to Object and Expand Appearance and then Object and Expand. Click OK and now you've got a really nice, very quick and easy grid which you can of course unite by using the Pathfinder, just combine them there. And what you can do then, of course you can modify it in a number of other ways. It's just now a normal filled path. So you can just go say select a circle and just quickly create that and use I'm just going to select both. Now that's going to be the top object now that circle. So you can just quickly go to object envelope distort and make the top object. And then you've just got a nice very very nice sort of circular grid design. Of course you can modify that even further and expand that as well or just going to quickly expand that. So now you've got that. And of course, you can go back to envelope distort, make with warp, and maybe that one, or with object and make with mesh. I'm going to go for four and four there. Just select the direct selection tool and then just warp it slightly, warp it that way. And you can create literally thousands of different designs just by using this like that. Anyway, I hope you found this interest. Thank you much.